evening and welcome to beautiful minds uh, today we have uh, randa rati joining us for this uh, program so she is a creative trainer and a storyteller so welcome to our show uh, randa how are you doing hi i'm fine thank you so much yeah so we would like to know more about you so how did you get into storytelling and what is creative trainer so could you go ahead and tell us about it sure so i'm a creativity trainer since last 22 years so when i was young i always wondered you know why it's everybody says the sky has to be blue and the trees have to be green we need to follow you know if you ask somebody to draw a nature drawing there has to be those mountains and trees on the two sides yes. and the river flowing in between sun and one you know in the center it was always everybody doing the same things and i wanted to do things differently that why not we can't we should do something like that and i feel if you can think and express it then your work is done you know you can put yourself in a better way in front of others and so that's how you know brinda arts came into existence so initially i started it with lot of things right from uh, greeting cards creating your own gift wrappings and different kinds of writings plus it's more of you know creative drawing where in your imagination world everything in is possible you know you can imagine anything and you can put it down on paper okay. and then the storytelling came along okay so so it's like almost 22 years now so how do you feel about it i feel you know i'm enjoying it every moment you know because if you love what you are doing so you don't feel that you are working so i'm enjoying every moment since last 22 years that's wonderful to know so how was like to teach arts to the kids it refreshes you and it pumps up your creativity because kids are the most creative people in the world and they are always up with the question what they have in their mind they don't use filters you know so it is it is really good to work with kids it's quite challenging as well but then they are the honest you get the honest feedbacks okay so brenda since you are doing so many things so what's the best outcome or surprises that you got back with you the best outcomes were that all my students till now i must have trained more than 2500 or 3000 students personally you know on day to day basis when kids come so now i'm teaching the second generation so back here in ahmedabad when i was teaching in 2000 those kids have now are now adults they have their own kids and they come back to me that ma'am whatever you are teaching if you are teaching to this age group we we are sure that we want our kids to be with you so that is that is a great feeling that that trust and the bond which i have with those students it still remains okay so now now it is like parents and kids joining you sometimes or how is it no so now those students now they are parents and their kids are coming to me okay that's really wonderful so why do you think you know creativity is required in the current uh, generation where everyone is busy with their smartphones because copy paste is you know anyone can do it if i if it doesn't bring surprise to you because we, if we all have seen everything what is available but if you are spontaneous you know that spontaneity can bring surprise element and of course being creative is you can do it anywhere so creativity doesn't need to be only on paper if a chef can be creative by using by cutting out a watermelon into something very beautiful so if if i present you if the chef presents the watermelon just like that and if it carves out a beautiful flower or maybe a nice uh, pumpkin for the halloween you know a pumpkin carved pumpkin out of it so obviously it will attract everybody around yeah that's really nice so would, would you like to go ahead and tell us a story because we would like to hear from you sure so let's begin the story once upon a time go offline there lived a farmer uh, i'm sorry to interrupt you i'll just go offline so that it can you uh, know you can be seen clearly sure okay one second yeah 
what you could do is you could just make it into active camera like active speaker okay yeah go ahead once upon a time there lived a farmer with his wife the farmer had many farm animals one was the hen another one was the cow and the third was the horse farmer loved all of them and took great care of each one of them lot of times he had people who wanted to buy those animals there lived a man a jockey who wanted that horse because it was so fit and fine the jockey wanted that horse for his racing there was a butcher next door who looked at that cow and said mm, i wish i can have this one to slaughter but farmer refused each time once in his house there came an uninvited guest a mouse and the mouse was really naughty it roamed around everywhere in the house but initially he used to do it only at night so he wasn't caught but after some time mm, he made friends with all those farm animals and they said ah we are there in front of the master all the time why do you hide and so the mouse thought why should i hide yes i should be like these farm animals always on the move and that's what he did in the daytime he started coming out even during the daytime but ah! farmer's wife saw him and she was too scared of mouse she ran and she said to the farmer listen either this mouse is going to live here or me do something about it farmer immediately got a mouse trap the mouse was watching all this from his hole and he rushed to his so called friends he rushed to them first he went to the hen the hen was busy eating the grains <laughs> went to the cow cow was busy grazing mo listen 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 please help me please help me you know there's a mouse trap there's a mouse trap there and and i may get caught please help me well i don't think i can help you i'm busy in my work and it's your problem why should i be bothered about it connected at all the mouse was sad again and he thought horse would be his last hope he ran to horse <laughs> hello hello mr horse please please help me there's a mouse trap in the house there there please please help me well i would have loved to help you but you see i'm busy i'm busy taking a round right now maybe some other time and as it is it is your problem isn't it but but we all are connected please please help me none of them helped the mouse finally the mouse realized that he has to be his help he quietly went inside hid himself inside the hole and was there all the time at night when everybody was sleeping there the farmer's wife heard a sound ah 
as she was happy, the mouse was caught. She ran downstairs and without even opening the switching on the light, she quickly went near the mouse, but it was a snake whose tail was caught inside the trap and the snake bit farmer's wife. And immediately she fell down. Farmer, without wasting the time, took his wife to the doctor. The doctor looked at her and she, he said, well, I think, I think maybe the chicken soup would help. Chicken soup? Farmer immediately remembered the hen. And so the hen was taken to be made into the chicken soup. And while all this was going on, the hen thought, oh, I wish, I wish I would have helped that little mouse. He was so right. We are all connected in this world. But now it was too late. Farmer's wife was not feeling better even after that. Farmer was worried and the doctor hand out a long list of medicines. He did not have so much of money. He thought, what should he do? Where should he go at this last moment? And just then he heard a sound. More. Oh yes, that butcher was asking for my cow since long. I don't want to, but I have no option. And he gave his cow to butcher for the money. The cow really was so sad and she wished she could have helped. And now she knew. They were all connected in this world, but it was too late now. And then the farmer took all the medicines and went to the doctor. They all tried to save farmer's wife, but alas, they couldn't. Farmer had to arrange for the funeral and he was left with no money. He was wondering, what will he do? Where will he arrange the money from? And there he heard. <coughs> oh, my horse, that's the last option I have. And finally, he sold his horse to the jockey who wanted it since long. The horse, when he was leaving, he was looking back at the house and looking at the hole and the mouse staying there and in his eyes as if he was speaking that I'm sorry. I know you said that we are all connected but I never took it seriously. And the mouse was there looking from his hole, losing one by one all his so-called friends leaving the house. The farmer finished the funeral, was back to his house and the mouse was there. The farmer did not notice the mouse, but the mouse remained in farmer's house always, wondering that he is alone, wished his friends were there too, if they understood that they were all connected in this world. Thank you. Well, that that was really wonderful and your expressions, the way you tell the story. So it's really nice to see, uh, you know, listening to the stories, what you are telling. It's really awesome. So I, I, I would like to know, like, you. how did you enter into storytelling? So uh, I was always good with these kinds of voice modulation mimicry and I loved telling stories, you know, since beginning. But then I came upon a course of by Gita Ramanujan from Kathale and I chanced upon that beginner's course and I found it really interesting. After doing that beginner's course, I wanted to dwell deep into storytelling. So I also did my diploma with her. And then that was a year where I was actually, you know, living and dreaming stories so that was the whole time and through that it polished my skills as more 
Uh, so is there any kind of specific character uh, category you target for storytelling or so every day uh, every day i have my students which are age group of 4 to 14 years so there are almost 100 okay. kids enrolled with me for the entire year and then okay. they all come once a week so i train them in in smaller groups so that i can focus on each and every one that's right but then i do tailor made my programs according to the need of the people and then i tailor made the programs so for example i have boom to wonder years that is specifically for pregnant women how they can connect with their child right from the time they conceive then there i have a different okay. uh, program for the teenagers how they can connect and they can also uh, you know tackle with their different kinds of feelings which they go through during that age group through storytelling again i have the different program and module for college going students when they have to crack their interviews so okay programs are differently made for each group. yeah differently made for each uh, age group okay so so i would like to know like what is the best compliment that you have received from any of the parents yeah. best compliments uh, which i have received so maybe you know they like i remember once i had prepared so according to the story there's also an activity after the story for the students so once i thought you know since my, since the younger kids they are so much into junk food so i created a story there was a story of tenali rama making bangan ka bharta you know so there i created i also cooked bangan ka bharta and made bajre ki rotis for them during winter season and okay. while sharing the story i could see the mouth watering of my students and then at the end i offered them that bangan ka bharta and bajre ki roti and i assume that you know I, they would taste it maybe they'll enjoy it or not but then believe me during the class they asked me to cook more so i cooked two more bajre ki rotis for them uh, during the activity and it has been 3 years now they are still enjoying that bangan ka bharta at their home all their moms need to do is that you know it is made from the same recipe which rinda ma'am had made for you so <laughs> that's that's really nice so any current projects that you are focusing on right now so right now uh, as i mentioned that you know every my till april my batch is full for the current this program so what happens is once in a year and in in the month of april there is the show the, there is an exhibition of creative drawing where the drawings which are composed by the students it is displayed and everybody is invited for the exhibition for the same and there is also the storytelling show so we for the whole year we work on the same on everyday basis okay. and the current projects they keep on coming up as and when requirement of the client they keep on approaching me and then i tailor make the program and we do it okay so if anybody ha- is interested in learning stories from you or you know learn different kinds of creative uh, uh, arts what you are into so how how do they get in touch with you so they can get in touch with me through my facebook my linkedin my instagram and my mobile any any of it uh, okay. like recently i conducted a program in amdavad management association so they had invited me to conduct a special storytelling program for 10 to 18 years so that okay. was all developing your imagination through storytelling so depends what we want to focus on related to that i make the program specifically for that okay so randa when you meet your friends what do they say about you they say that i always have some or the other trick up my sleeve because i was the naughtiest one amongst all the uh, friends in my group okay and somehow you know i'm blessed to have kids every day around me so i can still remain naughty with them <laughs> i i can imagine that so what's your vision for your future projects and the help you need to scale the, there so here i love to work with small scale because i feel that after coming into the storytelling world i have seen my students there's lot of positive change in them so in my stories i do lot of therapeutic storytelling where i ask the parents those who enroll their kids with me to share their challenges with me and there i weave them into the stories and then i tweak some stories also put those things into that and then i see the difference you know once we share those stories and then 
I discuss with the parents that what changes can you observe, and since those kids are with me for the entire year, so I also can see the see the changes in that. So that is a wonderful feeling when you see that positive change. So I feel that is my way of giving back to the society. If you can make the future generation better versions of themselves, that's really wonderful to know. So it was pleasure having you. on our show and before we wind up this i would like to know like any suggestions you would like to give to the audience or the friends who, who are watching this uh, show so i would say that uh, keep reading keep telling stories keep watching so people say where do we find stories from so right from the morning time when you wake up till the time you sleep you do so many things you meet so many people and you touch so many lives so there are so many things which you can share so story is not just one article which you read in the magazine but it is something which you create every day you meet lot of people so keep meeting keep interacting with people and keep creating stories thank you thank you so much jurinda for coming on our show it was wonderful talking to you and sorry for all the inconvenience that we had with the network and all The pleasure was all mine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful evening. Bye bye. Bye.